Okay, in the last video, I showed you how to mill the flats on the camshaft to accept the cams. This week, or this uh, video, I'm going to show you uh, how we make, sh make the uh, cams. We start out with a blank that I turned out on the lathe. Then I, uh, I drilled and uh, threaded this hole for an 832 which will hold it on the cam shaft. And here is the final <clears throat> a cam that we're going to show you how to make today. Intake and exhaust. And when it's put into the engine, it looks like this. Okay, that's how that works. <clears throat> so we'll show you how we do this. Here's my setup. I have my four inch rotary table mounted in the vise on the mill and a cutter. I have a carbide cutter <clears throat> that I'll be using to cut these flats. Okay, let's zoom in here a little bit. You can see there, <clears throat> I have a spigot in the uh, rotary table that has a flat on it. You want to make sure that uh, that is all tight and secure because we're making all of these cams uh, the same, so <clears throat> everything has to stay in place. So we'll mount the uh, mount the blank on the, the spigot here. If I can get this thread started. So you just slide that on and the, watch where the flat's at. Slide on on there, it's a nice snug fit. I'll run it in until I feel it touch. Then I wiggle it back and forth to find the center of the flat like that and then we tighten her up. Now <clears throat> this cam is going to have a hundred thousandths lift so we'll set we'll cut down I'll take a, about twenty-five thousandths at a pass till we get to the hundred thousandths We are now set on uh, zero degrees. Which is where the exhaust valve closes. We're turning the exhaust valve first. So then the exhaust closes. There we're down to a hundred thousandths. And now all you do is turn, I turn this about five degrees, the rotary table. Take another cut. Five degrees, take a cut. Pretty simple. And it doesn't take too awfully long. 
when I get around to where we're going to stop, I take it off, turn it around, and then do the intake load. So that's how that's done. Pretty simple. Uh, there's lots of ways of doing it, but this is the way I found that it. it works pretty well and uh, it's pretty fast. So that's what I was looking for. Now I'm not going to get into the math that, uh, where to start and stop your cam loads. That's that's up to you. Uh, this particular engine is is pretty mild. It's it's a hopefully a slow running engine, so the valve or the uh, yeah the uh, cams don't need to be. Uh, too awfully radical. The uh, the way I have this set up, the intake uh, opens at uh, top dead center and closes at bottom dead center. The exhaust uh, valve opens up at 40 degrees before bottom dead center and closes at the top dead center. So uh, that's pretty much how how to make the cam.